In this lesson, we will walk through connecting Microsoft's Power BI tool to a K2 OData data source. For Power BI, you must configure the OData connection in the Power BI desktop. Once configured, you can use the web and mobile interfaces of Power BI. With the Power BI desktop application opened up, you can click on the down arrow on the Get Data button up in the ribbon menu and select OData feed from the menu list. You can paste your K2 OData service URL into the URL text box. Remember, you can find the feed URL for the K2 Management Smart Object OData API under the Integration menu option in the K2 Management site. Click the Copy button next to the URL to get it into memory. When you're ready, you can click OK in Power BI. You will need to pick an authentication type next. In this demo, I'll select Basic Authentication in the Access to OData feed page. Then I'll add in my username and password. The OData API is an IIS hosted app, and it's configured with basic authentication that requires your Active Directory username and password, or it will be your Azure Active Directory username and password if you are using K2 in the cloud. Once entered in, click on the Connect button. Select the smart objects from the OData feed that you want to use for analysis in your Power BI report. Then click on Load, and Power BI will display the progress of accessing the smart object data. The smart object data shows in the Fields column over here on the right. From here, select a visualization that you would like, and then also configure it by selecting Fields from your smart object. Now that the data is available in Power BI, you can use standard Power BI features to design and build your reports.